Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. I uh, just had a video I wanted to get out. I uh, had a, an idea occur to me on uh, my shift at work and thought it would be kind of a cool chance to just get something out and, you know, spitball an idea or two. Uh, basically, what I want to do, uh, as you can tell, we're playing... Batman Arkham Knight, which is the technically fourth uh, game in the Arkham series, uh, but it is the third made by, uh, is the third chronologically, uh, not counting Origins. Not sure if game audio is coming through, we're going to skip it anyways, because I don't really care. I've uh, played this game a few times, uh, so... What I'm sure. going to do real fast, just go to audio options, uh, subtitles, dialogue volume, there it is, okay. Turn dialogue volume all the way down, because I don't need to hear it for now. Uh, but I just want to get across some ideas that I had as far as how this game could be improved. Now, it's a good game, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's a very good game but it could be better and there's a couple of ways that it could be better uh, the first way is actually ironically in that room uh, it is the Joker remove the Joker from the game I know Mark Hamill is amazing probably one of my favorite actors but he just, they had a great send-off of the Joker in the last, uh, in the last game, at the end of the last game. And then, at the beginning of this game, you burn his body. There's no reason to have him, other than they were afraid, just like anyone else that does anything with Batman, they were afraid that without the Joker, it wouldn't be any good. And so, they did what everyone does, they panicked and they put the Joker in there when they didn't need to. They had a good game without the Joker. Uh, awesome jump, and there goes the bridge. Now, the biggest fix for this game is uh, what actually take care of the Joker thing altogether. And the idea that I had uh, was instead of Bruce Wayne escaping right there in that moment, uh, he doesn't when you do the big turnaround, the big reveal, uh, as you know in the original game, it is the big reveal of Jokers inside your head, and then you play the game looking for Scarecrow and the Arkham Knight as Batman. What I would have, what I think would be awesome instead of that is to see as you do that big turnaround moment of uh, revealing the Joker, it is instead Scarecrow again, and he injects Bruce with a almost lethal dose of fear toxin and leaves him in Ace Chemicals, supposedly. He just walks away. Uh, you hear... The screen goes black. You hear uh, Alfred saying, Master Bruce, Master Bruce, please come out. Uh, please, you must run, you must run, the building's going to, and then it explodes. And then you see video file, uh, it kind of zooms like it's flying, like the camera's flying, through the burnt wreckage of Arkham, and it would look something, let me see if I've got the tool, yes, uh, it would look something like this, obviously without hitting, going crazy. Uh, look a little like this, not exactly like that, but obviously you get the point. You fly through, uh, zoom out, and then it goes to a filter that makes it obvious that you are watching on CCTV footage. That is happening in the Batcave, uh, or the analog to the Batcave, which is the film studio, and it is Robin, the current Robin. Tim Drake, and the first Robin, 
Dick Grayson. Nightwing has come back to help. Uh, he saw what was happening in Gotham, and he's come out of Bloodhaven to help, uh, you know, to help out the situation that Batman finds himself in. And they have just seen Batman die. For all intents and purposes, Batman is dead. They don't know what's happened uh, other than he is dead. And you see Nightwing start to walk away. Uh, he uh, he appears upset, obviously. his Basically, his dad just died right in front of him uh, for all intents and purposes. And... Uh, you, Tim Drake looks at him Robin looks at him and says okay Nightwing you know what you have to do we've prepared for this moment for a long time you know what's next and Nightwing looks at him and says no I, I won't do it yet That's, it's too soon and he just walks out um, what would be great at this point is if you take control of him uh, sort of like you do the commissioner in an earlier sequence where all you can do is walk you have no other input on the screen there's nothing to convey that this is the character you're going to be controlling for the next you know 30 40 hours of the game then he takes the elevator upstairs and you overhear Alfred on his uh, on his comms device saying Master Grayson this has been prepared for you know what your next step must be you know what you must do and he says no I refuse so then we see basically Dick Grayson struggling with the fact that his father his his father figure uh, for his entire life is dead and he can't come to grips with that and it leads him uh, he to get away from everything he ends up on top of a tall structure at the theater which I can't find right now for whatever reason so we'll use this as a stand-in so he ends up on top of the tower and there's a beacon there to signal the player goes and that's when you have control and on top of the tower there is a disc pick up the disc and it's a recorded video message from Bruce uh, in Batman costume with the cowl down uh, talking directly to Dick and it says uh, listen we've prepared for this uh, if you're watching this you know what's happened and you know what you must do Gotham needs Batman it doesn't need Bruce Wayne and you have to step up you're the only one who can you are the only one I want to step up it's time son it's time the recording ends, and the next thing we see, we see uh, Tim Grayson or uh, Dick Grayson <laughs> make a video call to Alfred, and he says, "Okay, I'm ready." And then you hear the back computer say, uh, "Override command required," and Dick Grayson, looking straight ahead, just as calm as he can, override code, nightfall. Immediately, everything is switched over to Dick Grayson. Uh, this enacts the will of Batman, as it were. Uh, Wayne Manor becomes Grayson's home. The Batcave becomes his. Alfred becomes his uh, butler. Everything moves over to Dick Grayson at this point. And he is in charge. Uh, he becomes Batman. Um, this should be when the new suit comes in. Uh, you go through the entire first section sands the new suit um, and then as he's getting ready to go out uh, Alfred tells him you can't go out dressed as Nightwing Gotham needs a Batman and then Lucius Fox takes over the call saying Mr. Grayson Mr. Wayne and I were working on something before his death I think it will suit you even better this could be a real help to you soon son I'm sending the, the Batwing with it get the new suit, go through the training protocol, and you're able to move faster, use the multi-fear takedown, all of that stuff. And it's explained that the suit allows the younger Dick Grayson to be even a better Batman physically than Bruce Wayne was. He might not have the intimidation down just yet, 
but he is a better Batman. Uh, physically, he can do more. Now, at this point, uh, the game, my version of the game, catches up with the real version. You go looking for Oracle, uh, who has been kidnapped. She was kidnapped midway through the gas factory, and sorry, the chemical factory. And there's a more compelling reason than just she's part of the Bat family uh, at this point. Because in the comic books and in most incarnations of the adult Nightwing, Dick Grayson and Barbara are dating and or engaged. And I think there's even one uh, a one shot where they're married. Uh, but they are in a relationship. And I think it makes more sense at that point for him to be going. And he has to tell Gordon not only was your daughter Batgirl for a while and then she was helping us out, but... Uh, she was kidnapped because of all this, and now we have to find her. Uh, this sets up an interesting dynamic between the new Batman and the man who, for, again, all intents and purposes, was his father-in-law. Um, and it sets up a dynamic of, not sure if I can really trust you anymore. Uh, whereas the turn on Batman that happens in this game just to me feels false it feels flat-footed Jim Gordon would understand a lot sooner he would come to an understanding a lot sooner than he does in the uh, in the actual game in my opinion um, I understand why they did it the way they did it I just don't necessarily agree with it uh, but it also sets up an interesting uh, an interesting note of you wouldn't have the Joker because Dick Grayson didn't have anything to do with the Joker gas or the Joker blood of any sort. And so he doesn't have those uh, lingering psychological effects. I uh, just mentioned that because he's sitting right here looking down at the city. Um, the other interesting note that it sets up, and this goes into spoiler warnings, uh, spoiler territory about Arkham Knight, the character. It sets up a competition between the two of them. Because Arkham Knight really is trying to replace Batman. That's He thinks he's a better Batman. And... Uh, he, for those who don't know, and I'm sure there's some of you that don't, he's Jason Todd. He's the second Robin. And he was supposedly killed by the Joker, but he was really just captured and tortured and then left for dead. And he came back and he thought that Bruce had betrayed him. And he was out for revenge. And that's all true to the comic book. That's uh, something you pulled straight from the pages. But this sets up a whole dynamic of who, who really takes up the mantle. Who can really do what Batman used to do now that he's gone. And I think it sets up a more interesting reveal in the end because it sets up this moment of um, Arkham Knight thinking he's killed Batman then a new Batman shows up and he doesn't know what to do with it and then thinking okay this has to be one of two people and I know both of them or I know at least one of them uh, so he would surmise it's Dick Grayson and so then he begins to taunt him, and he tells his men, that's not really Batman. That's a trumped-up Robin. You can beat him. You can take him. And so you would see this evolution through the radio chatter, through the voice chatter of the game of the crooks and the criminals on the street, of starting out, oh, it's not really Batman, we can beat him, to at the end they have this fear and respect because, yeah, he's stepped up and he is Batman. Uh, it also allows... Batman to have, uh, sorry, Bruce, to have the internal conflict of dealing with the dark side of him that is Batman, and that darkness within himself that he never got rid of after his parents' death. Um, the psychological stuff that happens at the very end, instead of Joker wandering around inside his head, I think it would be great uh, if it was a young Bruce Wayne, just like we got in uh, Arkham, in uh, As Arkham Asylum, if we saw young Bruce stuck in the alleyway where his parents were murdered 
and then he has to fight off as he gets older and older he as he grows within his own head he has to fight off the bat uh, and the darkness that is the batman and that's when he's able to fully let go of what's happened and he's able to back away and take on more of a supervisor role towards the new generation of batman uh basically dick grayson stepping up as batman obviously tim drake still being robin and he's able to kind of allow that shift to happen uh a la batman begins which is why i'm wearing the batman begins armor plus it's awesome uh, it's probably the second coolest armor in the entire game don't have the first one yet um however the payoff at the end of it all would be that bruce was batman and that's revealed but then he's able to come out and make a statement yes i was batman and now i'm not and then we see the final uh, bit of nightfall which is him stepping into wayne manor and it explodes and at that point batman is still feasibly around uh there's not a reason for criminals to think that batman isn't going to be around anymore and bruce can go off and do his own thing because he's dead to the world and it allows him to have the retirement that he's earned at this point uh he probably won't enjoy it but he's earned it and that's a good thing uh him being able to go off is a good thing uh the best heroes get to ride off into the sunset the ones we really love die doing what they love but uh, they should get to ride off into the sunset it, it's only fair and I think that would have set up a much... It would have changed a lot of gameplay. Uh, it would have been an interesting take on the third game in the series to have to kind of relearn fighting style because Dick Grayson fights very differently than Batman. He fights with the scrim sticks and a mix of scrim sticks and martial arts. So it's not just... Uh, it's not just a matter of interesting uh it's not just a matter of punching and kicking people uh, but he also would have to take on the mantle of batman and that's a very hard thing to do so i think that you know and that's it's not a very good summary i'm kind of doing this off the top of my head right now but um i feel like that would have been a more intriguing game to play i love this game it's a great game um uh, but i think it would have it would have set it apart as the real final chapter in the Arkham storyline, as opposed to all these, you know, we could keep going, we could possibly see another one, we could see something else. And and I think really ending Bruce Wayne's story as Batman, spending an entire game playing as Dick Grayson, and then having Bruce Wayne retire, forcefully retire at the end, works. And it closes off, excuse me, it closes off the storyline in a way that is satisfying and you're left with a lot less questions and a lot more answers at the end you're not having to think okay who is that new shadowy figure is that uh is it red hood using fear gas is it bruce wayne using fear gas is it azrael is it any number of characters who could be taking the place of batman no we know who it is it's dick grayson it's the guy we just spent the entire game playing as and he is the new batman and he's awesome at it, what he does and so I, I think overall that would just be a more satisfying uh, satisfying conclusion to this series uh, but that is obviously my opinion this whole video was my opinion and I would love to hear what you guys think so I'm putting this up to you anyone that happens to view this uh, please leave a comment let me know what you think and who knows i might do this in the future there are some other games i think that are out there that could be improved with one or two changes and uh, not that they aren't good games i'm certainly not trying to step on any toes as anyone's uh that's a game developer because i'm sure i'm not one myself but i think there are storylines out there that could be improved so let me know what you think and i will see you guys on the click side